Okay, so now we're going to do the reverse of what we've been talking about already. So far we've looked at uh, graphing something, the equations are given, but now we're going to do the opposite. So now we're going to start with the graph and go back and write our piecewise equations. Okay, so I know that I'm going to have f of x equals, and then I'm going to have to put the two equations in there. Now, let's take a look at this bottom one because this is going to be easier to start with first. That'll be our second one that we're going to put here. Notice that this is a horizontal line and it's going through negative one. So if I wanted to write an equation just for a regular line, if it went all the way through, that would just be y equals negative one, okay? Well, in this case, I'm gonna put that equation here. Now we don't have to put the y equals because we already have the f of x, which is taking the place of the y. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put negative one. So it's always gonna be at negative one but it's if, okay, remember we have to take a look at the conditions and write the conditions as part of our equations as well. Now this starts at, so it so happens to start at the x value of negative one as well. So from the x value of negative one, it goes this way forever. So if x is, now there's a closed circle there, so closed circle means that we're going to include that. So the y value is negative one, if the x value is greater than or equal to negative one, we have the equal sign because this is a closed circle. And that takes care of this piece. Well now, what are we gonna do about this one? Okay, this one we have to figure out what the equation of the line is. Now we're gonna take a look at this. Now if you remember, we talked about uh, slopes. Okay, now if we take a look at this, all right, we, from this point down to this one, we have to go down three and two to the left, which means that if I wanted to write something in the, in the, the form y equals mx plus b, that means that I would have a slope of negative three halves, the rise over run, change in y over change in x. So change in y, negative three, and then change in x, negative two. So we go, so basically, um, we can also think of it as we go over to up three. So that would be a positive slope. Any line that slants to this direction would be a positive slope. So therefore, I know that I have a slope of positive three halves. Now what I'm also given is I'm given a coordinate that it goes through. It, we know it goes through negative three comma zero. So in this y equals mx plus b formula, I can put in an x value of negative three and a y value of zero. So let's do that. Y value is zero and I have a negative three that's gonna go in there for x. I'm solving for b. So I have zero equals, that's negative nine halves when I multiply that because it's negative three over one when I multiply it. When I solve, I get nine halves equals b. So if I want to write an equation for that, I first start with the slope, that's y equals mx plus b, that's the m, 3 halves x, and I have plus, okay, and I have 9 halves, okay, so 9 halves, that's the equation of it, that's the b value that I found. And that would make sense, if I take, keep taking this and going this way, that would hit at 4 and a half, that would make sense for which direction it's going in. Okay, now that's if, don't forget the conditional statement, now, I have negative one here again, so I have x, if it's, but it's using values to the left of that open circle, which means that would be less than. So in this case, I don't want to include it because I have an open circle. So that's gonna be less than negative one, okay? So this would be the equations that you would write that goes along with this particular graph. You have this equation here, mx plus b, so three halves x plus three halves. So if x is less than negative one, and I have negative one, the horizontal line, if x is greater than or equal to negative one. So your answer is gonna be these two equations.